Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're taking a look at easy content types by Theme Isle. Um, and this plugin is fairly robust. So we're just going to show you how to quickly set up an example of a custom post type and how you can actually use this plugin to extend your content management functionality of WordPress. So what is uh, a custom post type? Well, I think that, again, this, this video is not a review of the plugin more so a tutorial on how to set it up. Um, but I think they did a really good job with explaining custom post types, tax, taxonomies, meta boxes, um, and custom content types, because this is really going to drill it down for you. But a custom post type is a way to get away from pages and posts in WordPress and use them for any other kind of content, books, inventory, team members, um, you know, basic e-commerce websites, anything that you want to organize your content uh, into uh, away from the standard post and pages here. Um, and Easy Content Types does a great job of explaining that stuff and walking you through uh, the different, uh, you know, variables of, of this, uh, of custom post types. Let's dive right in and let's create uh, what is an example that they use throughout, which is books. And I'm going to do the same thing because I think it's pretty straightforward and helps you get an understanding. Um, I'm not going to go through every single detail of this plugin. Uh, lots of features here. There's a ton of things that you can do. Uh, but it's safe to say that these little helper buttons, another great feature of easy content types. I'm really glad that they have this in here. So if you just have, if you're stuck and you have a question about a particular feature, just hover over the little I or little information icon there and that'll pop up a little bit more. So we're just going to call this one books. Singular type book, plural type books. And again, you have a whole bunch of options down here we're not going to get into, but um, you can certainly do a lot more, especially if you're a developer. Uh, there's some different things and different settings that you can set up in there. So let's go ahead and add that uh, post type called books, and we're going to create ourselves a little book uh, section for the site. Now, um, what I'm going to do, and there might be different ways to do this, but the first thing I'm going to do is set up a meta box. And what a meta box is, is something like this. So first, let me show you by going to the book section. You can see we've created uh, this new book section, and it's just right under posts. So just like you'll be creating posts on your WordPress site, you can also create these book posts as well. So we're going to go ahead and hit add new. And right down here, these are these meta boxes. This is not powered by this plugin. This is just an example of one. So a meta box is just something that we can come in and add more uh, content or data specific to uh, where we're at. And in this case, it's book. So let's just say this is my first book. This is my first book. Here's great description. And I will give it a featured image. And I'll publish that. So you can see it, it reacts just like any other page or post. If I take a look at it, you see this is my first book. Here's a great description. Uh, this is the 2016 theme. Let's go back to the dashboard here and back into the meta boxes of easy content types. So I'm going to create this meta box. I'm going to say book information. And you can see here that easy content types will actually attach these meta boxes and the future meta field, uh, custom fields that we're going to look at to any post or page throughout WordPress. So it doesn't have to be just the custom post types that you create, it could be anything. Uh, and across multiple custom post types. So here's books, because this is what we just created. And we'll leave everything default. And you can add the first field here if you wanted to, and I will just to make it easy. So I'll say book ID. We'll call the field name book ID, and it's gonna be text. So what what is the difference here? So just like if you are used to using a form builder like a Gravity Forms or Ninja Forms, you can select different inputs. So text, text area, select boxes, check box, so on and so forth. I'm just going to leave this for text right now and go ahead and hit or click on Add Meta Box. And you can see up above, this, is, this will be our list of meta boxes. Obviously, we only have one. It's called Book Information. And we can go into Edit Fields. We can view these fields and create more fields right here. So again, up at the top, here are all our fields. Again, we can add more of these below, and I'll show you that in an example uh, in a moment. So one other cool thing to, to note, and I'll show this in a little bit, is each field gets a short code. So you can display the information in that field um, by dropping this little short code right in your WordPress editor. Let's go to the settings real quick. I already have this checked off, um, but what I'm doing here is I'm saying, 
under their auto display meta field values, that's a mouthful, but what it does is it displays the content of those fields automatically, and in this case, uh, right after the content. So uh, it will it'll, we'll assign that on the book's custom post type. So every book's custom post type will display the information that the user enters uh, for text fields. So let's go to books, all books. We're gonna hit edit. We already created this before, but you'll see down here, this is our meta box, and it has the field book ID in it. So I'm just gonna say, make it easy, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna hit update. Because of those settings that I have uh, checked off that say display that content, it's gonna display that right after the content. So if I click on the preview, you'll see right here, book ID, one, two, three, four. So you can already see the, the power of being able to do real content management uh, with WordPress outside of pages and posts. So if you wanna keep your blog separate from your book collection, you can do that. You wanna keep your inventory separate from your pages, you can do that. Let's go back, dashboard, custom post types, meta boxes, edit fields. And just so you can see, we can extend this. So we can do something like field name, I don't know, we'll just call it type. I'm just gonna leave that blank because it's optional. This is the type of book. And in this case, maybe we'll say this is a select box. So we'll select, and um, these are the options. So what we're gonna do here is just separate the different options that I wanna have based on, or excuse me, separated by a comma. So I might do something like fiction, nonfiction, is it fiction? And I don't know, business. And we'll add that field. So now when we go to our books one more time, click on edit, here you can see the dropdown that we just created. So these are, this is sort of the whole point of custom post types, custom fields, meta boxes, is to sort of organize and create a more seamless um, publishing experience for content that sits outside of your standard page or post. And you can see it's doing it fairly easy. There's not a lot of, um, pain in creating these custom post types. So if I select, let's just say business, I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. Click on my first book and, uh, oh, because I don't have that selected, so let's go back to dashboard. So this is actually a great example right here. We're gonna custom content types, we'll go to settings and we will check off um, the select fields, right? So right here we can automatically display the selected option for select fields, so we're gonna check that off. Hit save, and we will go to back to books and view that. And there is uh, the business field displaying the, the data that we selected in the drop down, right? So type is the business. So let's say we didn't want to do that. Let's say we wanted to get rid of the uh, automatically displaying after the post. So let's go ahead, drop that out, and hit save. We're gonna go back to the meta boxes, edit the fields, and we're just gonna scoop up these short codes right here. So I am gonna copy that, and I'm gonna open this up uh, in a different window here. So I'm gonna edit that, edit this, and say that there, and this one I think is just type, or the word type, and update. Okay. Now this should display those fields instead of after the post, right in the post, which means we can put in more content after this stuff. So we can do something like this, just so you can see it, update, view the post, boom. There's, there are our custom fields. So now we wanna, you know, what this allows you to do is sort of be a little bit more flexible with that, sort of make your content more inline. The other way around is, sure, it'll dump it out after the content, but then you have to style it and sort of make sure that it, you know, because not every theme is gonna have um, the styles attributed to it. Uh, and you can go ahead and, let me go edit the book again, and do something like uh, book ID and book type, okay? You might even do something, let me go switch to the visual. You might do something like this. Update. <clears throat> and you can see here, we're sort of separating the title and putting in 
uh, or displaying the custom field that somebody entered, okay? So that's Easy Content Types by Themeisle. It used to be run by Pippin's Plugins. Again, I really like the plugin. Uh, I think that there's definitely some, um, there's definitely a lot of options here, right? There's definitely many things that you can do with it. There's a lot of things that you can play around with. Um, you know, user levels for one, and I just don't have enough time to go through all of this stuff. Uh, but you can go in and say, look, if you're, if you're giving, if you're building WordPress websites for customers and you're saying, look, I don't want them to mess around with custom post types. I don't want them to mess around with the custom fields. You can sort of hide these things and, um, uh, you know, make, not make them accessible to them so they don't mess things up. You can export content, um, custom post types, excuse me, and bring them into another site, especially if you're going from testing site to live site, that kind of thing. Uh, and again, I think their help section's pretty darn good. Uh, it's one of the better uh, help, um, you know, panels or knowledge bases I've seen built into a plugin before. Uh, so good on them and great on them for doing the whole explanation thing. I think that's something that a lot of other plugin authors should do, myself included. This has been a tutorial of easy content types. Again, what we did just as a super quick one more wrap up, uh, we created a custom post type called books. We gave it a couple fields called um, book ID and book type, put it into a little meta box, created that custom post type. We created our first book over here and you can see the differentiation from the editor and the uh, custom uh, fields that we have here. We published it and we got ourselves our first book with some unique dynamic information. You can go ahead and continue to make this collection uh, of book posts throughout your WordPress site. If you have any questions, drop them in the video below. If you do enjoy tutorials like this, you have questions, comments, concerns, uh, go ahead and subscribe to Plugin Tut. You can find us at youtube.com slash plugintut or plugintut.com. Thanks everybody.